Saudi Arabia has announced a $1 billion investment in cash-strapped Pakistan which is currently in a state of both economic and political upheaval. This announcement regarding the fresh investment comes days after the State Bank of Pakistan informed about $4 billion in financing for Pakistan from friendly countries. Mark Zuckerberg has admitted that Facebook algorithmically censored the Hunter Biden laptop story for a week. He admitted it on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Zuckerberg said he did so following a general request from the Federal Bureau of Investigation to restrict election misinformation. The U.S. government said on Thursday it would suspend 26 China-bound flights from the United States by four Chinese carriers in response to the Chinese government's decision to suspend some U.S. carriers' flights over COVID-19 cases. Myanmar's military authorities have arrested the UK's former ambassador to Myanmar, Vicky Bowman, and her husband. She has been accused of venturing outside the registered areas, and her husband helping her. They could be jailed for up to five years for the offense. Two Kenyan tribes have filed a case against the UK government at the European Court of Human Rights for Colonial Abuses. The Talai and Kipsigis have said in the lawsuit that these abuses include theft of land in Kari Cho, the tea-growing area of the African country. The tribes are seeking $200 billion and an apology for the crimes. Authorities in China are trying to induce rainfall in the midst of a catastrophic drought, which is caused by a record-breaking heatwave. The country is intending to utilize cloud seeding to generate rain in an effort to alleviate the drought conditions in nearly half the country, including the Yangtze River Basin. California State Senate has unanimously passed legislation to legalize the Hindu sacred symbol of swastika in its penal code and recognize the hateful Nazi emblem by its German name, Hockenkreuz. The legislation makes California the first state to recognize the swastika as a sacred symbol for Hindus, Buddhists and Jains in its penal code.